Hola community, I need your help. Or Blender add-ons need your help. So 3.1, Blender 3.1 is around the corner. It's less than two weeks for it to be out. And there are some add-ons that might not make it into the final release unless we do something about it. Okay, long story short, for uh, there's a new add-ons policy in the add-ons that ship with Blender. The, the external add-ons don't, nothing has changed. But the ones that ship with Blender that comes when you download Blender from blender.org, uh, they have. So for 3.0, there was a the the, poly, the main policy change was that the add-ons uh, that ship with Blender should not connect to servers outside of Blender.org for security reasons. So uh, the user knows that whatever it downloads, if it connects, it hits under Blender.org, so it's secure and it's under control. So that affected a few add-ons. They were removed from 3.0, and in 3.1, some of the add-ons, like there's no add-ons that connects outside of Blender.org. I think the Blender ID only connects to Blender ID. But the, there is also documentation. This is the second topic. Documentation should always be in a place where, uh, in inside of the Blender manual, basically. So it should come, should be all in one place, Blender manual. There are a few add-ons that do not comply with that yet. How can I know which add-ons? Well, go to the uh, Blender Wiki, the 3.1 release notes. The bottom you're going to find add-ons inside of add-ons at the very bottom you're going to find the ones that are uh, not complying with the requirements those are amaranth tiny cad tissue and real snow so these add-ons need to have their documentation moved into uh, blender documentation the blender manual this actually touches me personally because the Amaranth add-on is one that I made many years ago and I had its documentation in my own crappy website with Comic Sans 2.7. It's been so long, but I never bothered into moving it into the actual... Uh, since this add-on wasn't part of Blender back then, I made the documentation on my own website, but now I have to move it. So I, I have to... I have to now in like this this weekend is gonna be my project to move it uh, my my task to move it homework so how do you move it where to go well if you um look into the documentation project you're gonna have all the links and in, in the developer the blender .org documentation um, project you can just search for documentation here and you're gonna go to the project this page so here you can get everything how to install it build it build again everything um, it's also in the manual itself if you go to blender.org slash manual in the manual there is a section about how to contribute to the manual itself so you can go here contribute and it's just the same it's not a big deal but yeah you need to uh, know a little bit how to install dependencies svn is used for this so um, it might take a little bit and then he has to go through review and then put into uh, the actual manual that everybody can can access so yes there is some homework but these add-ons need their help because need your help because some of the developers that have been involved in these add-ons are no longer in um in yeah in touch with blender development or maybe they are not working on this add-on anymore so it's always a good thing to go to the task and see what is the status of this. So precision drawing tools, I think this was changed. It's not mentioned here, but uh, all the other ones are. And um, yeah, how do you know where is the documentation? Well, in the in the add-ons themselves, so like let's go to tissue. And the tissue add-on, I think and most of them are on GitHub. Yeah, so documentation URL is on GitHub. So you go here and... Um, it's a matter mainly of copy pasting this. However, what is the license of this, of this documentation? You know, you have to get in touch with the developers or you can write new documentation that is not uh, limited by the license because you could copy paste this, but in a, in a way you are, yeah, breaching the, 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 the license of the documentation. So can you help please? <laughs>
Uh, otherwise, these add-ons are going to be disabled uh, from uh, the, the Blender 3.1 release, and uh, it's a pity because a lot of people use these add-ons. I'm going to do my own part with my own add-on, with Amaranth, and hope to see you involved in the other one, the, the other add-ons. How do you get involved? Again, this is the, the place in the manual, or you can, if you want to chat as well, you can go into blender.chat. There is a um, blender.chat. There should be a link to the documentation. It's, uh, if you if you look for the documentations channel document, or oh, docs, I think it's docs. Yeah, docs. So yeah, here you can just ask around and you're going to get help by the community. That's it. Uh, let's let's do it. Let's not get these anons removed. Um, I think you everybody understand that it's for a good cause, right? That every documentation should be in one place here, where everybody can access it. Because you don't know if my own website will, will go down, which happened in the past, then the documentation for these anons will be um, will be will disappear. You know, it's not good. So it's for the future preservation. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the Blender chat.